In this tutorial, we learn how to find the area enclosed between two curves, and we're going to do so with an example. The example is the one we see here. We're asked to find the area enclosed between the two curves, y equals to x squared minus 7x plus 9, and y equals to negative x squared plus 3x plus 1. So to begin with, let me move this question to the side, like so, and now we can get started. Now, if we have a graphical calculator, the first thing we would do here is to quickly plot both of these curves on the same xy grid. And in doing so, we should end up with a graph looking something like this. Where this purple curve here is the curve y equals to x squared minus 7x plus 9. And this pink curve is the curve y equals to negative x squared plus 3x plus 1. And to make things clear, the area we want to calculate is the area I'm currently hatching in grey here. To calculate this area, we follow a three-step method. The first step, step one, we need to find the x-coordinates of the points of intersection of the two curves. So let me just write find x-coordinates of points of intersection. In other words, we need to find the x-coordinates of the two points that I'm going to label now. This point here, and this point right there. So how do we do that? Well, several methods. Either we have a built-in function in our calculators which would allow us to find the coordinates of these two points of intersection. Alternatively, we could find the x-coordinates of these points of intersection by solving the following equation. x squared minus 7x plus 9 equals to negative x squared plus 3x plus 1, where each side of this equation is one of the two curves equations. Indeed, we have x squared minus 7x plus 9, that's the purple curve we have here, and negative x squared plus 3x plus 1, which is the equation of the second curve that we have. Now, to solve this for x, we're going to gather all of the terms on the left-hand side of the equation. And in doing so, and after simplifying, we find 2x squared minus 10x plus 8 equals to 0. And this is now a quadratic equation, which can either be solved using the quadratic formula or by factoring. And in doing so, we find two solutions. Those two solutions are x equals to 1 and x equals to 4. And these two values of x are the x-coordinates of the points of intersection of the two curves. So we can label our graphs like so. The first point of intersection has an x-coordinate of 1, and the second point of intersection has an x-coordinate of 4. We've now finished step 1, and we move on to step 2. And in step 2, we need to determine which of the two curves is above the other between the two points of intersection. So I'll just write which curve is above. Now in this case, since we have a graphical calculator and we've plotted the curves right here, it doesn't take us long to see that the curve that is above the other between the two points of intersection is the pink one that we have here, whose equation is y equals to negative x squared plus 3x plus 1. So I'll just go ahead and write y equals to negative x squared plus 3x plus 1 is above. And I should specify for x between 1 and 4. We now move on to the third and final step, step 3. And in step 3, we calculate the enclosed area. And to do this, we use the formula, the area equals to the definite integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x, where the lower and upper limits of the integral are the x-coordinates of the points of intersection, which we found in step 1. Those were 1 and 4. So a is equal to 1, and b is equal to 4. And in the integrand, f of x is the curve that is above, and that's the curve that we found in step 2. That was y equals to negative x squared plus 3x plus 1. Consequently, g of x is the other curve. That's the curve x squared minus 7x plus 9. So we can go ahead and write that the area is equal to the definite integral from 1 to 4 of negative x squared plus 3x plus 1, that's the curve that's above, minus the equation of the curve that's below, 
And careful, write that equation in parentheses. That's x squared minus 7x plus 9. And we close the brackets, and there we go. We now need to simplify this integrand as much as possible, which would lead to the definite integral from 1 to 4 of negative x squared plus 3x plus 1 minus x squared plus 7x minus 9. And that's equal to the definite integral from 1 to 4 of negative 2x squared plus 10x minus 8. Integrating this using the power rule for integration, we find the antiderivative negative 2x cubed over 3 plus 5x squared minus 8x with lower limit 1 and upper limit 4. And now, plugging in the upper and lower limits, this equals 2 negative 2 times 4 cubed over 3 plus 5 times 4 squared minus 8 times 4 minus negative 2 times 1 cubed over 3 plus 5 times 1 squared minus 8 times 1. And let me make a tiny bit more space here, like so. We find that this equals to 16 over 3 minus negative 11 over 3. That's equal to 16 over 3 plus 11 over 3. That's equal to 27 over 3. Finally, that's equal to 9. And that's 9 units of area. And that's the final answer. And in fact, let me just write the answer clearly in the lower right-hand corner. Area equals to 9. And we could write 9u dot a, as in 9 units of area. And we could also illustrate this result by labeling our graph here, the shaded area in gray, that's the area, which is equal to 9 units of area. And so that's how we can calculate the area enclosed by two curves. And that's it for this tutorial.